were we praying wrong this whole time? We've all been there, feeling like our prayers are just bouncing off the ceiling. Maybe we're not praying wrong, but we could be praying better. Check out this video for some tips on how to get your prayers answered. Prayer is a communication process between an individual and a god or goddess. It can take many different forms, but all prayer has the same basic goal, to connect with the divine. There are many different ways to pray, and no one way is right or wrong. Some people prefer to pray alone, while others find strength in praying with a group. Some people like to use formal prayers, while others prefer to simply speak from the heart. There is no wrong way to pray, as long as your intentions are pure. Prayer can be a powerful tool for healing, guidance, and strength. It can also be a beautiful way to connect with the divine and express your deepest thoughts and feelings. No matter how you choose to pray, remember that there is no wrong way to do it. We're all familiar with the standard Christian prayer, right? It goes something like this, Dear God, please bless Aunt Mabel's lupus and heal her completely. Please also give Uncle Joe the wisdom to make good decisions at work and help him get that promotion he's been wanting. Amen. But what if we've been praying wrong this whole time? Who should we really be praying to? There are a few different schools of thought on this subject. Some people believe that we should only pray to Jesus since he is our personal savior and mediator with Heavenly Father. Others believe that it's okay to pray to both Jesus and the Heavenly Father, or to saints and other God beings. And still, others believe that it doesn't matter who we pray to, as long as our hearts are in the right place. So, who should we pray to? The answer may surprise you. The Bible actually has a lot to say on the subject of prayer. In the book of Matthew, Jesus tells us to pray then like this, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The World English Bible translates the passage as, Pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. What is the purpose of prayer? The purpose of prayer is to communicate with God. Prayer is a two-way conversation in which we talk to God and He talks to us. When we pray, we are not just talking to thin air, we are talking to the Heavenly Father who created the universe and knows our every thought. How to pray effectively Have you ever felt like your prayers are just bouncing off the ceiling? Maybe you're not sure if you're doing it wrong, or if God is even listening. But the truth is, there is no right or wrong way to pray. Prayer is simply a conversation with the Heavenly Father. However, there are ways to make your prayers more effective. Here are some tips. 1. Be specific in your requests. God knows what you need before you even ask, but He wants you to come to Him with specifics. This shows that you have faith that He can meet your specific needs. We are always spiritually connected to the Heavenly Father. 2. Pray with a thankful heart. Thank God for all the good things in your life, even if things are tough at the moment. A thankful attitude will open your heart and mind to receive His blessings. 3. Pray persistently. Don't give up if it feels like God is in answering your prayers right away. Keep praying and trust that He is working in His own time and way. 4. Pray for others as well as yourself. When you take the focus off of your own needs and pray for others, it opens up the door for God to work in their lives as well. We've all been there before. We're feeling lost, alone, and helpless. We turn to prayer as our last resort, but we're not sure who to pray to. God? Jesus? The universe? Help us out here. If you're like most people, you've probably been praying wrong this whole time. The truth is, there is no one right way to pray. But there are a few things you can keep in mind that will help you get the most out of your prayer if you do it more, in a direct way. You can talk to God, or whatever force you believe in, however you want. There is no need to use fancy words or follow any specific format. Just be yourself and express what's in your heart. Second, don't be afraid to be vulnerable in your prayers. Prayer is a time for you to lay all of your burdens and concerns at the feet of God or whoever. This is not the time to put on a brave face or try to tough it out on your own. Be honest about what's going on in your life and how you're feeling. What are the benefits of prayer? There are many benefits of prayer. Prayer can help us to feel closer to God, seek guidance and strength in difficult times, and express our thanks for the good things in our lives. Prayer can also help us to develop a more positive outlook on life, and to build up our faith. How often should we pray? We all know that prayer is important. But how often should we pray? Is there a right or wrong answer to this question? 
Let's explore what the Bible has to say about prayer and find out. Conclusion Prayer is an incredibly important part of the Christian faith, but it can be difficult to know how to pray effectively. This article has looked at some of the ways we might be praying wrong and offered some tips on how to improve our prayer life. If you take nothing else away from this article, remember that God wants to hear from us, no matter how imperfect our prayers may be. So don't be afraid to talk to Him openly and honestly, and see what a difference it makes in your relationship with Him.